Hello everyone and welcome to Pleasant View. I am Bibi and if you've been keeping up with my channel, you know what it is. It is time for us to start a brand new Sims 2 Let's Play. Over the last couple of months, I've been busy doing lot makeovers of all of the households here in Pleasant View and now we are finally done. We are going to be moving on to lot renovations in the other base game neighborhoods. But right now, we are starting a brand new Let's Play right here, right now in this neighborhood. And just for the record, this is going to be an Uberhood. I have added both Strangetown and Baronville as shopping district so we can have some crazy wild relationships happening and crossover events between all of the Sims in these three neighborhoods. I'll also probably add downtown and the university hoods, but that's going to happen in a little bit of time. For now, we are going to start right here in Pleasant View. And even though we won't be following all of the scripted events to a T, because I have other unique gameplay ideas in mind, I think it's always a good idea to start with good old Don Lotario. Here we are in Don's house. Let me just show you real quick, you guys, how the house is looking right now. I love this house a lot. You can check out, of course, the lot renovation video, but for now, that's all you need to know. <laughs> okay, we're here with Don, and because I have been testing a little bit what's going on with these sims, we already have Kaylin, the maid, who is hanging out in the house, and we also have, of course, Miss Brandy. This is not the household to be looking for a man. You know, Brandy, this is not the guy. Please, please escape while you can. What? Wait, what is that? Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, um, let's ignore that for a second. All right, I think I fixed everything. We had a bunch of missing custom content because I have actually been purging some stuff from my game because the downloads folder is just getting out of hand. I need to I need to have some more self-control. Uh, let's just also delete this, Mr. Humble's computer. I don't want to get rid of Mr. Humble from my game because it's just too nostalgic, but uh, we don't need him. We don't need him. He's leaving free money basically lying around and uh, we can't have that. So anyways, we are right here with Don, and of course the first thing he wants to do is contact Miss Nina Caliente, and uh, we're probably going to do that, but uh, what is he doing? Oh, he's admiring the lamps. Come over here and uh, read Kaylin. I don't know why. What is she doing? <laughs> Oh, well, they seem to like each other already. Okay. This man, this man is busy. Okay. Flirt. Charm. Poor Caitlyn. Like, she's a shy sim. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She's at work and this guy is like, basically he's harassing her. Like, what the heck, Don? Okay, that's enough. And of course he wants to woohoo both Dina and Nina. Wait, how did she gain culinary skills? From what? <laughs> what just happened? He just gained a culinary skill from nothing. But uh, let's just invite Nina over while we look at what Don is up to. I don't know what he's trying to check out. I think the mirror. Nina, what the heck? This is this is a hookup. This is a booty call. <laughs> you can't be inviting your friends over for that girl. Wait, um, before we start anything, I want to upgrade him with a biology degree because it makes sense. He wants to be a doctor. You know, he needs that education. Like, how is he going to do that? And we already get some more want slots, which you love to see it. You just love to see that. Oh, we're immediately locking these two in. Actually, mm, wait, he's already going to do that. I'm just going to lock this one because Don's goal of the day, this guy, actual menace, his goal of the day is to hook up with as many girls as possible right now, right here. Don't be smiling like that, sir. I know what you're thinking, you dirty man. Don wants to win Nina over and it looks like she's slowly succumbing to his willy charms. Maybe now's the time to suggest a romantic soak in the hot tub and uh, Bills, I literally just loaded. Hello, who's this? Joe Carr. Hi. Oh god, who is she angry at? Greet everyone. Just meet everyone. Oh. Oh. She's like, do you want a back rub? Do you want a back rub, Don? Like immediately she's wooing him. I feel like, like, Don, the only person who can actually get under his skin is Nina. Like, he, he is cold, this man, not cold isn't bad, like, he's not a grouchy sim as far as I know. He's the one that, right, that plays with women, oh, she's not loaded. <laughs> he's the one that plays with women, he's the one that charms them all, but Nina is the one that is pulling the reins in this relationship. Hi, Darren, what is happening? Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. Wait, we literally just loaded. What is going on? Why is he gaining culinary skills? Excuse me? <laughs> Wait, something is wrong. They're flirting. Wait a minute. Let me just pull out the bad box real quick again because something is, seems broken. 
I don't know what's going on, but oh, he's back in love with her again. Uh, he also wants to chat, so I'll make them chat for a minute. Let's see if they can get along. Nina seems bored of his conversation. He's like, so the weather, right? She's like, I don't care about the weather. Also, it's not raining right now. What are you talking about? These two are like, that's a really weird relationship they're having right now. <laughs> Let's get inside, Miss Nina. Come over here at my lovely love dojo. Our Mojo Dojo Castle House. What is happening? Something. I hear water. Oh no, Kaylin, listen. No. I mean, I guess you can hang out. And Nina doesn't care. Nina is at this point like, oh. She's like, I know Don and his ways. He's got 50,000 girlies always hanging around him. Wait, let's pause for a second. How did he gain two cooking skills? I'm shocked. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Every time he interacts with Kaylin, he's gaining, he's gaining cooking skills. Nina is cleaning up his house. Kaylin is a maid and she's hanging out on duty in the jacuzzi. Don, you need to do better, Don. Play catch. Is this how you get girls? Like, is this how you win them over? If anyone who wants to get girls is watching, this is it. This is the Don Lothario method. Ask me to play catch. What is happening? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna force an error on this guy. What is he doing? He's cheating death. I'm gonna cheat all the way, like, I'm gonna cheat his needs all the way down. Chip chip, what's going on? Oh my god, uh -huh. Brandon Lillard. Okay, these two are flirting, and we actually need to, um, you know, we need to do the deed. Miss Nina is gonna, okay, Kaylin, listen, you're lovely, you're great, you're a fantastic girl, but I'm gonna see you another time because I am busy. Is Nina jealous of this? She is not reacting. She doesn't seem to care. She's fine. Bye. Hello, hello there. What with the glossed out eyes? Let's try some playful interactions. Let's see how she likes that. They're talking about homework. Is Kaylin leaving? Okay, I think she's gone. Brandy is here again. Stop snooping in this house, Brandy. This is not the house for you. Anyways, it's time to make the moves on Nina. See, Don is on a schedule. I don't know if he's at work today. No, he's not. He's at work tomorrow, but he's on a schedule because today he has an appointment with Nina and uh, he's gonna have to see Nina Kelly a day soon as well because he has a different sort of relationship with her. Come over here. Oh God, that engagement ring on his hand. Nina, she doesn't care. He doesn't care, like. He's gaining enthusiasm in cuisine. I don't know what's going on. Massage. I read marriage. I was gonna lose my mind. And uh, let's give him some privacy for a second. He is really hungry and uh, I'm a little bit concerned about his cuisine enthusiasm. I'm taking that down. I'm taking the skills down as well. Because that doesn't make any sense. The game is bugging out. Are y'all done? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that good? Okay, get out of here now. <laughs> He doesn't have a lot of money, so he definitely needs to go to work soon. He has a good salary, though. Let's dance around a little bit in your underwear. Does he have, like, is he a fit sim? Oh, wow, he's a good dancer. What is going on? He didn't show us a lot of moves, but he is a good dancer. Well, he's not giving much of a performance. He, he is in really good shape, though. He's incredibly sloppy, very active, very outgoing. He's going for the drink. I mean, it's after 3 p.m., so it's kind of acceptable. Culinary skills abound. All right, I have absolutely no idea what's going on and why Dawn is gaining skills all of a sudden. Ooh, let me just, um, I have this thing. Let me just find it. Male body hair controller. I think this is going to look good on him. Oh, he's so satisfied. He's having his little drink. He had a woohoo in the jacuzzi. Nina's still hanging out. I think she might get overheated because it's still summer. We're probably going to play each family for a season. I think that's the best way to do it. That's usually how I do it when I just play the game. So that's what we're doing. Now that you're hungry, Dawn, why don't you come downstairs and cook something? I did pull down the cooking skill because it's clearly a bug and something is happening. I've never experienced this. I literally just launched the game and it started happening in this house. So if you guys know anything about this random skill gain, let me know in the comments because I have no idea why this is happening. Oh, he's here to get his mail, get the bills. He's thinking of Nina. Mortimer's like, why is this guy naked? Why is he not in our house with his fiance where he should be? Agagaga, I know you're hungry. Come on, cook something. 
oh, he is going to autonomously cook something. He's going to stuff his face. That's not it, Dawn. You're lucky Nina is upstairs and not here to see this. Although she's probably seen Dina do that because they have such a similar personality. Dina and Dawn. Dina and Dawn. Dawn and Dina. Don Dina. Okay, stop it. Stop being a pig. You actually need to cook. Serve dinner sausages with potato salad. Stop gaining culinary skills when you... <laughs> this is gonna drive me insane. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I've never experienced this. Oh, this is a ready-made meal, so he can't really accidentally set something on fire. Mmm, looks delicious. Nina would be impressed. Where is she? She's still hanging up here? Yep. She doesn't care. It was hailing. She's still in a jacuzzi. Bill's reminder. What is going on with these glowing bushes, y'all? <laughs> what? What is this? <sighs> not cool. Really not cool. And he's gaining culinary skills. Well, is he actually going to clean? Look at this man. He is cleaning up. What is happening to Don Lothario? Maybe, maybe he's finally decided to stop being a slob. Maybe he knows that Nina is here and she won't be impressed. Uh oh, who's this? Piggy! How's it going, Piggy? Aww. Oh, they didn't like each other. Dawn has gained a two Really? <laughs> stop thinking of food. What is his one true hobby, by the way? Fitness. Makes sense. Okay. Why is he losing his mind over cuisine, though? Don't be barking at my door. I'm not letting you in. Change into everyday... Oh, warmer. I see someone's getting along with the stray dogs. <laughs> He's still gaining culinary. That's crazy. There she is. Girl, let's, uh, let's smooch. Where is she going? Oh, she's overheated. Oh. Okay, he left. Look at that. Look at that view. Just right in front of the window. The whole hood. And by the way, Cassandra knows Randy. They know each other and uh, Cassandra actually wants to talk to the Sim because as I was recently renovating the household, she had the want to talk to the Sim, so they are friends. And, uh, you know, she's just passing by and witnessing this happening in her fiancé's house. Like, he's like making out with random women. That's not cool. She's losing her mind. Let's spread some gossip. What are they talking about? They're talking about Darren Dreamer. What is it? What's the drama? What's the tea? What is the tea on Darren? Well, they're not letting me know. Ooh, look at Nina's tattoos. Nina does have tattoos. We don't really see that with her regular outfit, but she has some tattoos. Oh, she's shocked. She's shocked about the news. She's like, oh, I can't believe he did that. Well, anyways, let's just take a look. She has some butterflies. She has like this ooh, close up of her butt. It's cute. I think yeah, it's very cute and feminine for her. But uh, as much as I like you, Nina, you have to go now. Now, Don needs to pay his bills. Is he gonna be responsible? Let's be responsible. Let's pay his bills. Stop howling at my door, piggy! What are you doing? I'm not letting you in. Oh, it's- oh. Wait! Stop. That was just perfect. That was just absolutely perfect. Hello there. Hi. Wow. Oh, hi, bestie. What's up? I'm gaining culinary skills out of nothing. Oh. Is- Wait. Are they doing what I think they're doing? <clears throat> well, um, ACR is doing its thing. I'ma just give y'all a sneak peek because... Yeah. They're hanging out on the sofa, let's give... Uh, is this dog eating my bushes? Stop! Like, between the makeup noises and the dog chomping grass noises, it's just messy. Okay, the two are going wild. Uh-oh, I'm hearing the love hearts. He's actually not in love with her, so I guess she just fell in love with him. Their best friend. Mm-hmm. Best friend with benefits, maybe. So this is the situation right now. Dawn uh, is engaged to Cassandra. Doesn't really like her as much as he likes the... Oh, there he goes again. Doesn't really like her as much as he likes the other girls. He likes Nina. She's his ultimate crush in my... Oh god, wait. <laughs> it's still happening. And he's still gaining culinary enthusiasm. Listen, you gotta stop. Look at his memories. Oh, and Nina is passing by again. She's like, where is my sister? Hmm. She was supposed to be at home. I hope y'all had a good time. I think Nina didn't like the dirty jokes, but... uh, These two have a lot more in common. In terms of personality. What are you 
I no, oh my god. Dina, this is not this pot. This is tragic. Sir? Sir? You have some money to spare for the poor and needy? He just passed her by, that was cold. Okay, you can tell that Dina is not having a good time in our life. Girl, what is wrong? Well, I really wanted to send Dana outside tonight, but it's not happening because he's already kind of tired. He's still hungry too. I think I'm gonna send him to bed for now because he's gonna have to wake up at a reasonable hour. Free drinks at the Lothario house? I mean, he doesn't have a lot of money, you know, this is not the gold you're looking for, but uh, you can get some free drinks. Oh, look who's outside. Mr. Daniel Pleasant, looking up, noticing Miss Dina. Mm -hmm. Don is gaining culinary skills as he sleeps, as one does, of course. That's just normal way of life, I suppose. She's cute. I think my default replacements work, like the townies still look like themselves. No, he's actually not sleeping. Why are you not sleeping? Come over here. It's, it's like 1 a.m. and you're at work tomorrow, Dong. Come on. Sleep well, sir. What? Oh god, the music is on. That's why he can't sleep. What is happening? Stop! No, don't bon appetit me! Oh my god, the freaking hobby stalkers. But listen, we're not doing this. Dong is not into cuisine. He's just uh, bugging out for some reason. Rise and shine, sir. Change into your normal clothes. Okay, the carpool is coming to pick him up soon and uh, he needs to eat. What is happening here? Oh god, he left this. Ew, you stinky boy. I mean, resume cooking. <laughs> wow, he loved that. He's like, I served a meal of spoiled rotten sandwiches. And he wants to eat it too. Well, I hope you'll enjoy. Your soggy, green, glowing, gooey, fly-ridden sandwich. He actually loved it. Good for him. Who is this? Herb Oldie. Stop thinking about woohoo, you dirty old man. And the carpool is here to pick him up. Let's go to work. Become rock god. This makes no sense, bro. Look at him in his scrubs. What? All this vector. What just happened? <laughs> Olive Spectre came around, through a mirror, and left. Well, at least we know that our subcodes are working <laughs> because uh, the Sims from Strange Town are showing up here. Mr. John Burb is hanging out here. He has just moved into the neighborhood and he's looking around what's happening. He's trying to get to know everyone, trying to get to know all the lots, all the people, all the families. There he goes on his mission. I hope he's having a good time. Don believes he's discovered a flaw in a cutting-edge surgery technique being outlined by the hospital's chief of staff. He's not sure if he should say something. Interns don't generally speak during medical debriefings. Oh, Don is definitely the kind of intern to speak up. Let's see, but he might not get another chance to speak on the subject. He could raise his hand or attempt to meet with the chief of staff privately at a later date. Speak up. Ooh, ooh, Don is promoted to resident, okay. You might be onto something here. 20 minutes later, after much handshaking, Don is promoted to resident. Yay! Okay, that is definitely going to help him out because he is pretty low on money right now. Look, hello, he got 2,000 simoleons. Okay, he's rich. And he came home early and he has two days off. Two days off, all right. Oh, look at him. Like, this is a happy guy. This is a guy who just had a good time. He got promoted, and uh, he's having a little victory dance in his dining room. Shake it, Don. Shake it. Look at that. Mm, mm. That's great and all, but I want to send him somewhere. I want to send him on a little date tonight. He needs to go out to hunt for some girlies, you know? So, by the way, I don't want to speak too soon, but he did stop gaining cuisine enthusiasm and meet these people. Especially the lady, Andrea Hogan. I mean, hello, her outfit. <laughs> wow, what a handshake. Hi, nice to meet you. Talk. He has a bolt with her. Let's see. One bolt? That's fine. Has two bolts with the other girls. But I think we can work on it. I think we have. Let's see if this is going to be his girly. Don is always looking for something casual, looking for a girl to hang out with, looking for someone to go out and have fun with, looking for dinner dates and hot tub dates and um you know casual try for babies on a couch oh 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 no oh oh look at him <laughs> pascal curious he's already showing oh god he's ready to burst 
<gasps> oh, what are they doing? Lounge. Okay, I thought he's gonna immediately take her on the couch like he did with Dina. Let's see. Okay, Dawn, you need to clean up because your kitchen is kind of filthy and you are hungry. Maybe he can grill something. Let's grill some hot dogs. Let's uh, impress Andrea with some hot dogs. Ooh, the weather is kind of, mm, the weather is kind of sus. Is it going to rain? Is it going to rain this afternoon? Don has a day off today. Yeah, and he has a day off tomorrow, so he can go out and hang out late at night. Okay, did someone break our, mm, no, he's just sloppy and filthy, and he is leaving puddles all over the place. Which actually reminds me, Kaylin didn't come to clean today. And she should have. Did she just suddenly decide that she's not going to come to work anymore? Let's just call the service. Yeah, for some reason we don't have a maid. Even though I have clearly hired her. What is going on? Yes, you were disappointing me, Kaylin. First thing in the morning. Nice. We would love to see it. Okay, that's great. He's washed up. He's not washed up. He's just washed. Oh my god. Maybe he is washed up womanizer let's send him to a community lot let's just go and hang out and uh oh god he has the cooking lot okay okay let's just go to the pleasant view community center let's hang out let's see who we can meet out there all right here we are gosh i haven't visited any of these lots since basically the game came out look what this is these lots are in desperate need of a makeover yes it's suddenly nighttime and we're here at the swimming pool at nighttime but maybe we can meet someone. Maybe someone is hanging out here. Other than Brandy, who was all over the place, seemingly. Girl, where are you going? Stop. I can't click on her. Oh, she's going for a dip in the pool. Where's Dawn? These lots are so big and so empty. Definitely in need of a makeover. Okay, Dawn, get in the pool. Don't be a scaredy cat. Come on. She got out! Literally! Girl, I'm chasing you! Girl, come over here! Okay, you'll have to pretend that you care about Chess Dawn. I don't know how to explain that to you, but you need to get out right now. That's like the only girl on this lot. Come on, join Brandy. He's like, mind if I play chess with you, my lady? In our underwear? Mm, I'm noticing that we both like green. Okay, Don, do you even have logic skill points? He does. He has a few logic skill points. I don't know if this can work out, but, uh, you know, he wants to slow dance with a sim. And he wants to ask a sim on a date, and I'll save that for him. Anyone else hanging out? I just saw someone walking by, but they went away before I could notice who they are. Noob. Did she just call him a noob? Oh, gosh, you suck. Like, you're such a noob. She's winning, queen. Get up. Get up, Dawn. You suck. Don't embarrass yourself. Hmm. He's hitting her with the weather talk. Dude, this didn't work on Nina Caliente. Why do you think it's gonna work on a random girl? <laughs> Try again. Some sports. Maybe she's into that. She's like, uh-uh. Oh, wait. She's like, oh, maybe. You know what? She's talking about herself. It's like, I've tried playing that sport. And I know another sim. Oh, Cassandra, your fiancé. She's also into it. She just left in the middle of our conversation. Okay, this was clearly not meant to be. We need downtown because this is tragic. There is no nightlife here. I I'm assuming... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's a Veronaville sim. She's swooning over Dawn. Why did she walk all the way here in this corner? This lady is married, though. But when has that ever stopped Don Lothario? She's like, oh, I am this kind of guy and that kind of guy. Like, I've never seen you here. I just got, oh, I just got promoted. Like, you know how cool it is? I'm like working up in the medical career. Wait, stop. Everyone is leaving because it's the middle of the night. Pleasant View is tragic. Like, this, this is boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This is boring. Like, where does one go for the nightlife here? Who is this? Who's that? Goopy? Oh, Goopy goes Carbo. Goopy goes Carbo. Isn't he also a romance sim? Let's meet Goopy for a second. This is another local legend. And they're not getting along. 
They're having a terrible conversation. Try again. <laughs> He's like, you're trying to get my beaches? How dare you? You know who I just kissed? A person I just met. Like, on the first date, I got a kiss. He's like, oh, that's cool. I've also, like, made out with a sim I just met. I feel like these guys are just exchanging, like, Sigma male tips. Just two dude bros chilling, talking about sports. They actually can get along. I was, like, thinking maybe they're gonna be, like, enemies. Because they're both, like, womanizers, but uh, they are getting along. Okay, Dawn. Let's try another lot. Although, mm, I'm not into it. Go home. Let's go home, let's have a nap, and tomorrow you can invite Silver someone for a date, because this is boring, we can't hang out at these lots with, like, two sims and, like, no music, no nothing. And no girls, no girls. Like, that's the point of going out for Don Lothario. And we're back on his lot. I am using the community time project mod, so we're gonna have to wait for him to come back home. The thing about this mod is, I personally, I've had issues with this mod, like specifically with Bon Voyage. So if I ever want to send a sim on a vacation, I will be taking out the community time project because it simply does not work for Bon Voyage. I've read all over the internet, like some people are saying I have no issue with this mod. Other people are like, it just doesn't work for me. It works for me in general. I don't have any issues except for Bon Voyage and the phone is ringing and nobody is here to pick it up. Who is this? And I think there's someone, oh yeah, it's Miss Andrea Hogan. Girl, you wanna hang out here all night? Dawn is not on the lot. He just always has a girly hanging out in his jacuzzi. What a man. He's gonna be here in less than an hour and I am immediately sending him to bed because he needs to get some sleep because tomorrow is a big day. Oh God, look who he brought home. Shimmy Shu, hello girl, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Be careful, he has a bolt with you. He has a bolt with like every girl he meets. Oh, is that Piggy again? Oh, well, we haven't seen you in a little bit. Isn't it annoying how palm trees also shed leaves? Like, this makes no sense. Oh, Piggy, Piggy is not a friendly dog. Piggy. Piggy, are you gonna be the demon of this neighborhood? A barking up a bush? All right. I mean, I can respect that. I once like had the game generate this same looking dog twice and it named it both times Alabama so Alabama and Alabama met on every lot and they would just fight each other. Maybe Piggy is hanging out because she knows that maybe Don Lothario should adopt her. Should Don try to interact with Piggy? He's sleepy though, let's wake him up. Wake up Don. come and interact with Piggy. She's barking up your door every single night, maybe there's something you need to know. Hey there. Upper, what's up? Ooh. Good dog. Are you gonna chew on every single piece of furniture I own? Give love, feed treat, stroke. Come on. No, I know what's happening here. Immediately, like, just, just typical Sims 2 dog behavior. You're here to chew on my shoes. No, scold. Destroying the furniture. Stop destroying my shoes. Piggy. Don't be a pig, Piggy. Floor. Floor. Lord. Bad dog. Let me stroke you and give you a treat because I love you. Even though you are a destroyer. Piggy the destroyer. Maybe we should rename the dog. Oh, she's leaving. Well, bye then. Woke up in the middle of the night to pet you so you can chew on my shoes. Okay, it's like 10 a.m. Dawn, it's time to wake up. Come on. You can't sleep in this late. It's just, it's a Thursday. Wake up, take a shower, he needs to eat, and I'm still not seeing the maid showing up. Is she gonna show up at 10? Yeah, there she is. Okay, that's good for us. Did Dina just spit on the ground? Don't be filthy, girl. <gasps> she just made herself... Oh, she's like, I'm so comfortable in here. We can't have a moment alone with just Kaylin and Don. Well, he's gonna take a shower while Dina does whatever. I don't know what she's doing. Immediately she... Jacuzzi, okay. Once Miss Kaylin Langerak is done cleaning, uh, I'm planning on taking her out on a date. She just doesn't care. She just walked in. Oh gosh. What's she doing? Oh, she's dancing. <laughs> she's so cute. I really like Kaylin. She's such a shy sin. I don't think Dawn deserves her. Like, neither her nor Cassandra, which they look alike so much to begin with, so. Um, hey girl. Let's give you a little romantic hug. Dang. Some hugging, some kissing. Mm hmm, that's nice. Let's just try for a date. Mm -hmm. 
I wasn't really. Ooh, I actually didn't want the date to be here, but uh, I guess that's happening. <laughs> Can we like mm, Don and Kaylin? Yeah, I want to go to a community lot together. Let's go somewhere together. Local boutique. Let's go to the cafe. Let's just go to the cafe. Come on. Oh god, everything was going fine, and uh, now we came to this lot, and uh, Don's face is pink. She's like, oh, I really like the pink. <sighs> Freaking pink. I cannot. Can we get seated? Kaylin, can we have like a little date? That's very cute. If we ignore his pink face for a moment, <laughs> I think all is going to be well. They both wanted that. Mm. What are they talking about? They're talking about politics. Come on, serve the food. They're both hungry. Oh, his face. Oh no. <laughs> what a date! <sighs> like on top of him? Really? Great. Great. Amazing serve. Look at the view though. It's very cute. Please serve the food normally this time. Thank you. This date is happening like right outside the Pleasant household. Like, it's right there, and then the goth household is just down the street. So, uh, let's hope that nobody notices Don hanging out on a date with a local maid instead of with his fiance. Who he has been avoiding Cassandra for a while. Like, he hasn't seen her for a few days, and uh, he's not calling her. She hasn't been showing up either. Time is running out. Oh no. Oh my god. Wait. Flirt. Caress hands. Kiss. Blow kiss. This is gonna be a trash date. Oh wow, wait! Hello, who are you? <gasps> Axel Rawson. Is he chubby? <laughs> I guess this is the evil witch of our neighborhood. Alright, cute. Come on, quickly, chat. What is she wants to get married to Dawn. Kaylin, this is literally the worst thing you can ask for. Play with Dawn, get married to Dawn. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> He's already thinking of other sins. He just wants to entertain her, like he doesn't care. That is such a bad idea. And the date is over. Well, I've had better days, but that was, wasn't totally awful. If we go out again, though, I hope we do a little better. Yeah, I hope we don't go uh, pink flashing. What a date. Just what a date. A evil warlock showed up, caused some rain. My face is pink. The waiter dropped food on us. Just fantastic. Do we have like a place to woohoo here? Ooh, look at that little tucked in area. Very cute. He wants to woohoo with her. Okay, you know what? Casual. Just find the place. Find the spot. <gasps> no. What? What are they doing? Toss football. He's doing it again. Um, hi, uh, Nina. What's up? Okay, we need to go. We need to go. It's not the time. It's just the neighborhood is too small for what you're trying to do, Dawn. Go home. Please stop flashing pink. <laughs> okay, we are back at the lot. We're gonna wait for Dawn to come back. His pink face is gone, but um, I'm just gonna wait for the timer to run out and then I'm going to save again because I don't trust this game. I never do. What is going on? Why is... Every time he's out of the house. I wonder if this is Cassandra. I wonder if it's Cassandra just trying to call him all the time. And like, he's never at home. He's never picking up. He never rolls once to see her. Woohoo with her. Nothing. He has positive memories about having affairs. And he has a negative memory about getting engaged. So he is not into this. He is... Hey, Don. What's up? Had a terrible date. I mean, it wasn't like a terrible date, but... I think we got distracted with the dinner. He doesn't care. He's back to dancing. He's like, I went on a date. I took the maid on a date. Now I need to take probably the Kelly and Tay sisters. He hasn't seen Nina actually in a while, excluding the fact that he just met her on the community lot, but that's not what he wanted. He wants to meet someone new, so maybe he should meet Polynesian Technician Smith who's hanging out his house again. Although he surely wants to meet a girl, but you know. Maybe PT can introduce Dawn to some girlie from a strange town. What's up, dude? Oh, there's a there's a lady. There is a lady passing by. Hello, Miss Marilena. What is he talking about? Money. Oh, she hates to hear that. She's like, no, I don't care. I hate money. Screw money. He's like, what do you mean you don't like money? Everyone does. Dude, 
you're not great background noise for our conversation. Ooh, Mr. John Burb, maybe we should greet him as well. Hello, sir. I heard you have just moved into the neighborhood and you are here to work on the Belagot case. I could recommend a maid that you might want to hire. I'm going to in introduce you to her and to other new sims that you can meet in Pleasantview. Oh, what is happening here? Excuse me? Excuse me, Miss Beaker? What are you doing? Oh. Aha. See, I'm having an issue with the newspaper being stolen. <laughs> she just got scolded. Um, the thing about the newspaper, I think I downloaded a fix where... I don't know if you guys have seen that bug, but sometimes when a sim comes by to steal the newspaper, the newspaper will just just disappear in their hand. And I downloaded a fix for that, but it doesn't seem to be working. Because these two are really getting along. A bunch of sims have made their way into his house. Let's see. Oh, Dina is still here. Dina? I didn't know she was still here. She literally has spent the entire day in this jacuzzi. Girl, you are soggy like a sponge. John is making himself a drink. He's like, hmm, I'm here to inspect because I have heard that Belagoth was last seen on this very day, stargazing through this telescope. Hmm. I see what's happening. Like, John Burb is here. Like, he's being friendly. He's getting along with Dawn. But he's actually, like, snooping for work. So I think John Burb is going to put this telescope in his inventory. <laughs> He's not stealing it, he is acquiring it. Because this is going to be evidence in the Belagot case. He needs to inspect that, see if it actually has Belagot's fingerprints, like what is happening? Was she really here? Is Dawn somehow involved? John is on a mission. He's no fool. He's no fool. He's very sweet. He's friendly. He's trying to get along with everyone in the neighborhood. He's trying to meet all the locals, but he is no fool. He's here for work. Mortimer God wanted to hire a private detective from Sim City to come down and actually resolve the case because nobody here is taking him seriously. The locals are like, Bella was just abducted by aliens. No, she's gone. It's over. But Mortimer is like, this is not it. This is not right. Something happened to Bella and we want that resolved. So here's how I think of this. Cassandra is friends with Mary Sue Pleasant, right? So she has spoken to Mary Sue about her family and Mary Sue has shared with her that her, what is it, sister-in-law, <laughs> Jennifer Burb, which is Daniel Pleasant's sister, is married to a guy who is working in the law enforcement career. So basically mortimer said okay how about we invite this guy over we entice him with the fact that his family is here so they're going to be closer to family and he can come over and work on the bella god case like he can help us resolve this problem let's let's just give him some privacy <laughs> it's actually kind of late and don needs to take another shower so let's just do that for him while we look at what the other sims are doing around the house, and I think Don is at work tomorrow. Ooh, but he's like on a night shift. He's at 6 p.m. at work. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. This is a local legend. Miss Sandy Brody. Hey, girl. <laughs> what was that? He just let the door shut in his face. Come on and meet Sandy. What are you doing? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, she's like, oh, he's so hot. Chat. Let's get to know Sandy. Come on. I think these two are just meant to have a thing together. Oh, she's bored. Why does he always hit the girls with like the worst conversation possible to start with? Don, you really suck at this. How about you meet Jan? While you're trying to figure out what to do with Sandy. Get to know everyone. He he wants to know every single lady in town. He has no bolts with her, though. I wonder what her personality is like. Oh, she's also a romance sim. Come on, Dawn. You can't be serious. Her baldy. He's swooning. Oh, you, you, like this guy. This guy, this old man. I can't believe how late it is. Yeah. Uh, Don wanted to throw a party actually earlier, but I didn't love the one for him. Maybe we can do that tomorrow. Oh, actually, we can do that tomorrow because he's at work. Um, he doesn't really have any wants for gaining skills. Although, 
And I started saying this earlier, he does have this one right now to woohoo with 20 different sims, but I think he would also like simultaneously, because we can't have two lifetime ones together, but he would also like simultaneously reach the top of his medical career, because of course he would. Yeah. Don can actually come and hang out with them as well. What is he doing? Uh -huh. Dance. He just really loves dancing, this guy. He loves dancing. Dancing is not his hobby, but he loves doing it. Wait. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Wait, am I insane? This was not here earlier. I feel like I'm losing my mind. This was not here earlier. Um... Okay. <laughs> okay, that made it in the house somehow. Let's just chill. Let's uh, hang out with these sims. Let's improve our relationship. He's getting along really well with John. Oh, Marilena literally just left immediately. Three dudes chilling in a hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay. John is leaving as well. Everyone is abandoning Don. Everyone was having, everyone was having a good time until Don got into the jacuzzi. See you soon, buddy. See you soon, says John Blurb, thinking like, I'll see you in the police station. Let's go to sleep, Don. It's 4 a.m. Come on, you can't be serious. Who did this? We're gonna get cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Is anyone furious at Dawn? Maybe it's the dog. Maybe the dog. Like, maybe Piggy showed up. Piggy, you. If, if it was Piggy, like, Piggy really is living up to her name. What's that? AJ Loner. What is that outfit? I like AJ. The thing I've done off camera is I went to the sub hoods and I have placed all the Lotbin families because I wanted to see them hanging around as well. Otherwise, if we have to wait to get to like Veronaville for all of our makeovers, it's gonna take us a long time until we add those Lopin families. Come on. Greet AJ. What's up? Chat. Don, literally, like this guy is so stereotypical. His first conversation is always like the weather. So the weather, right? Oh, AJ is into it. <laughs> Uh -huh. Who's a letter basic guy? <laughs> Who's this? Hello. Porcelain Walsh. Oh god. This is probably some townie from... Oh, the phone is ringing. Meet Miss Porcelain. <laughs> I don't know who's... I don't know what her real townie name is supposed to be, but it's definitely not Porcelain, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Um, who is this? I think this is the guy from the restaurant, like from the gazebo cafe. Oh my god, Hudson Healy. I don't care. I don't want a relationship with you. Stop calling me, you weirdo. Imagine just you go one time at a restaurant and then somehow, like the host gets her. No, I don't want to hang out today. The host gets your name from the book registry and they start calling you at home. Like, talk about stalkers. Oh, it's Dina. Let's meet Dina. Is it Dina day today? It's Dina day today. Oh, he looks so sad. Why does he look like that? Why does he look like that? What is that face? <laughs> That's hilarious. Why is he looking so sad at her? Come on. <laughs> he, just, he just lets the door slam in his face every time. Greet Dina. Come on. Kiss? You sleazy bastard. Dina is getting to know AJ. I feel like maybe they do know each other. Mm, hint, hint. They're both fortune sims though, so they should be getting along too well. AJ looks really young. Like, he looks like a little boy, this hair. <laughs> I would change this hair on him. Oh gosh, what's with the creepy eyes? What is Dawn doing? Oh wow. <clears throat> so, uh, Dawn and Dina... They really are the auto woohoo kind of couple. I'm gonna make her selectable. She, Dina, no. Go steady with Dawn, get engaged to Dawn. Marry a rich sim. What are you talking about? You can't want this. She's not into Daniel. What? He's rich as heck. Girl, what are you talking about? Why is she so obsessed with Dawn? You can't do that, Dina. Dawn is not rich. Why are you into it? They're clipping through the sheets, but, you know, it's the aesthetic that matters. 
Is he good enough? Manala, what an amazing conversation. Uh, I'm not gonna look at them because that is. Did he just? Oh, he actually started liking her right now. He's like, finally, she's in my bed. Now I can actually love her. What a messy guy. Truly, like, the messiest. Well, some of his wants came through. Oh, he wanted the makeout wand. I thought it was the woohoo wand. They're not woohooing yet. Well, have fun, guys. I'm gonna lock both of those in for Dawn. <gasps> Wait. No, no, no. Wait, that was instant. This was not how it was supposed to go. Hi, Dina. Um, listen, I know you had like those wands to get it. Oh, look at his walk. Look at this idiot. Dude, have you not heard of protection? This girl has plans. <laughs> Filthy guy. Nasty guy. Oh my god, I'm sick of him. I'm sick. And he has not called Cassandra. It's been like so long. Oh god. Oh god, this is getting very messy. <laughs> he just walked in on AJ taking a dump. What are you doing? No, go to your bathroom. Come on. Come on, be a normal person. And we need more food, because... How about, I was about to say, how about we throw a party, but we can't throw a party but he's, because he's at work. Oh, oh, Dina, Dina, come on. She's like, please help me. Please help me. I'm broke and uh, I think I'm pregnant. Girl, this is not how we start. This was not in the plans. This was not in the works. Dina. Izzy is like, um, so how about reading? AJ seems to be interested in Nina. That's kind of sweet. I mean, I hope he's not interested the kind of way that Dawn is interested, aka casual hookups that end up in in babies. What are you doing, Don Lothario? He's gonna pay child support. That's what he's gonna do. Filthy bastard. Anyways, he is supposed to go to work in a little bit, so I'm just gonna make him take a quick shower. I wonder if these Sims will go home. I like that they just hang out in the, you know, form relationships has begun. Even if we're just playing one sim, multiple other sims are making jokes. Look at him! Wait a minute. Look at him in his scrubs. This is a man on a mission. Dr. Don Lothario. Oh god. Like, this girl is just not doing well. She is not doing well. It's truly tragic. Oh, look who's made it back. <laughs> I was just about to pause and wait for, like, I was just about to just zoom out and wait for Dawn to come by, but look who has made it back. It's Piggy. Girl, no. Bad dog. Bad dog, Piggy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Patricio Monte has more authority than you, Piggy. Work, work, work. Dawn is not at home, Piggy, I'm sorry. If that's what you're looking for. And the doctor is back. I wonder why he's not coming back in his like work clothes. Instead he's coming back in his regular clothes. I don't know what's up with that. And immediately the first thing he wants to do is dance. This guy. He's just happy to be earning money I suppose. Maybe if he gets rich enough Dino Caliente. She already wants to marry him, but it's not going to fulfill her want to marry a rich sin. Because, you know, with just 2,000 simoleons to his name, he doesn't have much going on. <coughs> he is at work for the upcoming four days. But the thing is, we are on a mission to get another girlfriend. Because, like, he has only four girlfriends and a guy cannot live like that. So I'm thinking either Sandy Brody, uh, Miss Porcelain, they're not getting along. So it's probably going to be Sandy Brody. <laughs> Why is he suffering? Come on, you're supposed to be good at this. Or you suck at leg day. Wait, he has no, no body skills? Why does he have no body skills? That's crazy. That's crazy. He's a fit sim. He's active, but he has no body skills. Well, he's gonna have a body skill now. 
Let's come over here and call Sandy Booty. Oh god, he's running, running around. Come on. Come on, girl. You wanna hang out at my condo? Count me out. Ooh. What is happening? Okay, I guess we need to chat her up a little bit more before she wants to come over. Because uh, she doesn't seem to be that excited. Come on, girl. Come on. This guy really has like only two conversations, weather and sports. He really is just a generic dude, bro. Why is he so successful with girls? That didn't last long. That was a very short-lived conversation, but it did improve their relationship a little bit. Maybe she will want to show up. Okay, she is coming over. The maid is not coming over though because it's Saturday and the house is a mess. The house is a filthy mess. We can work on multiple relationships at once. Greet Sandy. They, they, they had a handshake with Marilena and they barely have a relationship, but he really just went for the head nod with Sandy. And they're getting along better, so what's going on there? Let's dance together. Come on. Come on, Sandy. Do you want to dance? Heck yeah. Okay, okay. Get it, get it. Ooh, ooh, okay. What a weird couple. <laughs> what a weird couple. I don't okay, I gave Sandy a little bit of a makeover, some different kind of makeup, a different hairstyle, pretty much the same vibe. But uh, just upgraded her ever so slightly. I haven't changed her outfit. I don't have the Gussie Up mod. It is throwing errors at me constantly. Come over, Sandy. You are not going to that jacuzzi. It's literally raining outside. Stop. Girl, get out of there. What is wrong with you? What is Don doing? Is he cleaning up? What a good boy. The house was filthy. Okay, now he actually has a brain and he has two bolts with Sandy. So, uh, oh no. So, uh, let's try flirting. Oh, oh yeah. How about that? <laughs> Looking really good. Don't don't mind the engagement ring I have on my hand that I'm touching you with. <gasps> Ooh, this didn't work on her. She was not willing to entertain that. Okay, let's try something else. Give her an admire. Admire her, ask if she wants a back rub. You know, that's very weird considering that she's in a bikini and you met her like a day ago. That's how it is, that's how it works. Ooh, what's going on? Someone is screaming. Oh, it's Piggy again! Hi, Piggy! Their relationship is not great. Some more flirting, it's gonna work out. Okay, Sandy, don't be shy, don't be like that. Oh, ignore the maid that just walked by and totally doesn't have a relationship with me. Oh, we have a skunk on the lot. Kaylin, you're not really doing your job if we have a skunk. I mean, considering that I live like a skunk, it's kind of normal to see one, but... Let's, uh, let's engage with Piggy once more. Our wonderful friend, Piggy, who always comes by. Have a treat, friend. Have a treat. Have a Kit Kat. Pet the dog. Why can't we play with the dog yet? I guess we really don't have a great relationship, but, uh, yeah. Let's just leave it for that. Let's see what Piggy does. And uh, I'll sit down next to Sandy. No, I don't want to hang out. You're done. You're leaving. Oh! Oh! <sighs> don't you just love that? Oh, great. Okay, we are having pink flashing. Of course we are. <laughs> wow, okay. Last time we went to a lot. It worked out for us. So maybe we should try... Um... I will ask her on a date. And I will save because, just to be safe, I'll ask her on a date and we'll see if we can go to a community lot where hopefully, hopefully, all will be well. Right, we're here. Are we safe from the pink curse? No, we're not. Things are flashing pink. What is going on? Why? I've had the game open for like 50,000 years. Why is he disappointed about that? This is not your object. Okay. Uh, we'll ignore the pink flashing for a second because, of course, we will. If we don't see it, it's not happening, right? Are they having a good conversation? They are. She wants to floor for her. She probably wants that as well. 
Let's see. Mm -hmm. Flirt with Dawn, dance with Dawn. Ooh, 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 they had a bad conversation. Okay, these two. Come on, Sandy. Come on, don't be like that. He wants to play with her, entertain her, just hit her with a joke. Right next to this cashier, this poor boy. He's like, oh, customer service. This is what I have to endure every single day. How are these two getting along? He wants to dance with her. Um, hmm. Slow dance. <laughs> Why not? Just slow dance in the middle of nothing. What a romantic place for a date. Like, just right next to this little service boy. <gasps> smooch. He wants to smooch Sandy Broody. I mean, wouldn't you want to smooch those lips? <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, she's turning him down. Oh, God, this is awkward. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, this is not working out for you, Don. You need to chill. He's like, oh, come on, Sandy, just a little, just a little smooch. Leave her alone, Don. Stop being a menace. Oh, God. Hi, Miranda. Now is not the time. It's really not the time. Her fear is getting married to Don. I just wish Dina would think like that as well. <laughs> <laughs> like getting married to a bum who sleeps with every single woman that he meets? Sounds like a fear to me. Girl, I'm on a date. Can't you see? I don't care about your makeup. I can see that you're a, a quirky kid. Like, that's enough. Look at his walk. Look at the swagger. Okay, I think that's enough. Because he has to go. Because he is going to be late to work if he doesn't. Wow, that was about the best time I've ever had with anybody. I really want to go out with you again. Please, oh please, oh please. Like, no, you don't want to go out with him again. I mean, do you want to see this again? I don't. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just go. He's going in the completely different direction from where he actually lives. But maybe he's like, if I go in this direction, she won't follow me home. We're back at home. Is anything flashing? <laughs> what is that? Oh, it was raining. I'm like, what is happening? Why is there a random puddle? Someone's in the jacuzzi. Of course there is someone in the jacuzzi. Like, every time you load into this lot, there is a girl chilling in Don Lothario's jacuzzi. Imagine living like this. What a guy. He will be back in about three hours and his carpool will arrive in about two-ish hours. So he will just about make it to work. The car is here and Don is not. But, uh, he Ooh. Ooh. The car just left. Um, dude, stop glowing in pink and uh, go to work. Go to work, go to work, walk to work. Oh, I just saw Cassandra walking by. She walked by super fast. I was speeding up because I'm waiting for Dawn to come back from work. She just walked by and stopped and looked at the house. She's like, oh, he hasn't called. He hasn't texted. He hasn't emailed me. What's going on? Speaking of emails, this guy, oh yeah, he does have a computer. I'm like, he, does he even have a computer? Yeah, he does. He hasn't used it in a while. It's turned on, though. It's chillin'. It's chillin', killin', but he hasn't been using his computer. Ooh, look who's coming! Miss Sandy! Miss Sandy is here to drop off a gift for Dawn. And she's like, oh, I've never had a better date before. This awful guy who tried to smooch me five times and they made out with me in front of a cashier. Best date of my life. <laughs> this, listen, this is a piece of nightmare. Oh my god. Look at that. This is all of Spectre coming in as the absolute demon that she is to steal a newspaper and she's gonna glitch out. <sighs> Reset. You should go. <laughs> you should go because this is, oh god, yeah. It's Piggy! Piggy has made it again. Just like clockwork, every single night, Piggy is here to howl and bark at my bushes. Ooh, I, I don't want to read. Treat Baller, make a point. He could see the women immediately or make a point informing her that other citizens are just as important as she is. Uh, treat her. Loses two charisma skill points. Well, sorry. <laughs> sorry for that, Dawn. I could ignore chance cards, but like, what's the fun in that? Jennifer is not entertained by Piggy. Don needs to come by and tame his dog, because this is his dog. It's constantly at his house. Okay, this is a mission. I want to adopt this dog. Ooh, Don Burp is back here again. 
And uh, he's flashing pink, of course he is. T posing. He's back. Hey, Dom. Uh, I think you should check out his flowers. Dear Dom, I never knew two sims like us. But share such happy hours. Each lovely second's memory is more sweeter than these flowers. Sandy. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Sandy. I'm so impressed. Are you comfortable like this, Dawn? Are you sure you're comfortable like this, Dawn? Look at them cheap. So, uh, let's check out. Ooh, he's still not, like, best friends or in love with Tiny Booty. So maybe we need to work on that. But basically, he has one, two, three, four, five girlfriends happening at once. And he wants to woohoo with all of them. He has not woohooed with Sandy. He, 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 has he woohooed with uh, Cassandra? He hasn't woohooed with Cassandra or with Sandy. And uh, I think Cassandra is going to be an easy target. This poor girl. This poor girl doesn't know what's happening to her. Like, she doesn't know what she's getting involved into. So, Mr. Don Lothario is going to come in here and give Cassandra a call. He's working towards his goal of making out and woohooing five different sims. And Cassandra is next on the list. And he's like, he needs to solidify that engagement, even though he doesn't really want to. And Cassandra is at work. Okay, well, clearly it's time for Sandy Broody. He's like, all right, I got other options. It doesn't matter to me. Come on, Sandy. Come on, Sandy. I can squeeze you in between my job and my other four girlfriends. Not the leaf. He's walking around barefoot in these leaves. That's nasty, nasty, sir. Well, let's hope that Kaylin is not going to take this too seriously because we will woohoo in the hot tub. Is it gonna happen? Like, is she gonna accept him? No, I don't wanna hang out. It's actually the best time that you leave right now because you may not enjoy this. I wonder if she'll get jealous. Come on, quickly, get out of here. He can't get caught. Bye, Kaylin. Our date sucked, but my date with Sandy was amazing. Oh. All right, well, that looks fun. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. And immediately he's like thinking of another girl. Am I hearing a dog? Yes! Come over here. Don, quickly. Your dog is here. Piggy, don't leave. Hi, Piggy. Stop complaining, sir. Greet your dog. She's like, oh, this guy. And the speedos. Hey, Piggy. Oh, she wants to play. Can you leave? That's my dog. She's just leaving with the stick in her hand. <laughs> She's like, no. I'm taking that stick with me. Ah, Piggy's leaving. No, I wanted to adopt her. So sad. Okay, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Let's order delivery pizza. Because uh, Dawn doesn't feel like cooking. And look who's here. Jennifer Burb. Let's meet her. Ooh, they both wanted to meet someone new. And he is into her. Okay. And immediately, he's having a terrible conversation. <gasps> Accept your delivery. Take the pizza. Everyone is swooning over Dawn. Everyone is losing their mind over this guy. Where did he put that? That's like the weirdest location to put your pizza. It just looks so good. Delicious, isn't it? It's a taste of not cooking our own food. Just having it delivered. Best taste ever. Let me guess, Jennifer is going up to the jacuzzi. No, what is she doing? Oh, of course, she's gonna show her moves. Ooh, that booty. Come on, work it. Jenny, you don't want to be the other girl that disappears as she was last seen on Don Lothario's condo, so... Please be careful. Please be careful while you're here. You know why you're here. Hasn't your husband told you? Hasn't he told you why you've moved to Pleasant View? 
These two are still not even besties. He became best friends with Sandy, I think. And he immediately wants to meet someone new and he wants to gain a skill point. I'll lock that in because he will need to work towards um, moving up in his career. Alright, Don has just made it back from work. It's 1 a.m. He's immediately going to bed and the seasons will probably roll over just in a moment. So I think we'll leave it here. I think we've had enough of Don. He went on like two dates, one of which was bad, the other of which uh, did well, even though it was technically also trash. <laughs> he now has five different girlfriends and uh, I think he may have his first official baby mama. But, but we will see you next time because we will be playing the Caliente household next. So for now, let's just wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was very chaotic with the random glitches and the pink flashing but i hope you had fun <laughs> nevertheless and i'll see you soon with another sims 2 let's play video bye